Good morning. Let me tell you the parts of our BP apparatus. Blood pressure apparatus or the sphygmo manometer. This one here is, of course, the reading or uh, the reading apparatus or the manometer. This one here is the cuff. Okay, we call this the cuff. And it has sizes. This one is an adult cuff. If you have a pedia patient, then you use a pedia cuff. Okay? And then this one is connected to a tubing. The other one is connected to the manometer. And the other one is con connected to the bulb. Okay? And we have here the control valve. This one, you can twist it away from you or towards you. When you are going to inflate, okay, inflate, meaning you are going to pump more air for you to be able to get to the desired uh, reading, uh, you are going to twist this control valve towards you. And then once you are going to deflate, you are slowly going to twist it slowly away from you, okay? The sound that you are supposed to hear would be called as the Korotkov sound. And the first sound that you will hear, that means that is your systole. And the last sound that is very audible is what you call as your diastole. Okay? That's one, your systole is 120 over 80, then your 80 is your diastole. Okay? Good morning, Mr. Smith. How are you today? I'm here to take your uh, vital signs. I'm going to take your uh, blood pressure, pulse rate, your respiratory rate. This is very important for us to be able to assess your condition. Okay? So the first one is we're going to wash your hands first. And then take the thermometer. This thermometer is a digital thermometer. And of course, even if it's digital, we still have to clean it up. So, with the use of a cotton ball with alcohol, you have to start cleaning from the cleanest to the dirtiest part. Since this has not been used yet by the patient, the cleanest part here should be the tip of your thermometer here. So you clean it up, that rotating motion, this should be the cleanest part. After using, this is going to be the dirtiest part. So you start from here, going down. Okay? So for now, we have cleaned this up already, starting from, again, the cleanest part, going up. Since this is a digital one, make sure that you turn on the thermometer. Okay, Mr. Smith, I will put the thermometer. Okay. Now, the arm of the patient should be here across the chest. But since we are using Mr. Smith here, we cannot just fold his arms. But it should be across his chest. Okay. Why do we have to do that? Because after take, putting the thermometer on, we have to count his pulse rate and the respiration rate okay so we have put on this one first and then it should be followed by counting the patient's respiratory rate so if the arm of the patient is put here across his chest we should be counting it here okay assuming we are counting it here already so we have to have a watch with the second hand and count for the pulse rate count it for 30 seconds. One, two, three, four. Assuming we have already reached the 
the 30 seconds, we right away count his respiratory rate without removing your hand over the arm of the patient. That is one way of counting the respiratory rate without the patient knowing it. Otherwise, you'll be conscious on his respiration. So we will count it again um, for another 30 seconds. Okay? And that's already one minute counting the pulse rate and then the respiratory rate. That's 30 seconds, 30 seconds. In your mind, you have to multiply it by 2. So 30 seconds times 2, 30 seconds times 2 for the respiratory rate. Okay? And then after that, we will now take the thermometer and then at an eye level, you read the thermometer uh, reading. We have okay. to, now we're done, clean from the cleanest part to the dirtiest part. This has now become the dirtiest part. So we start cleaning again from here, going to the tip. Okay, now we have cleaned this already and put it back. The last one that we're going to do is to get the blood pressure of the patient. Next that we're going to take is the blood pressure of the patient. Now you put this on, make sure that the arm of the patient is at the level of his heart. You put the cuff at the level of the heart of the patient. And then you will put the diaphragm of your stethoscope over the brachial artery and then like that and you are now going to twist your valve control this one is the control valve you're going to twist towards you in order to inflate and then you inflate it 120 we add 20 so that's 140 and you, then you deflate the cuff away from you twist it away from you slowly the first Korotkov sound that you will hear okay that's 100 and then the last Korotkov sound that you will hear is on 70 okay so that the blood pressure of the patient is 100 over 70 and then we remove this one and then ask put your patient back to a comfortable position leave your patient thank you sir smith for accommodating us have a good day and then you go back to the station and write down your